my dear Mariano, I write to inform you that I will soon be leaving Spain behind. Know that I sail from her with a heavy heart, but the Spain I am leaving is not the one I once knew. War and sickness are everywhere. I tried my best to keep faith, but through my waning health, my body is telling me what my heart tried to ignore. It's time to stop fighting. For what time I have left, I would like to know peace. I hope you understand why I cannot bear to remain in that house. So I'm leaving it to you, the hands of the future. You must be prepared for what I have left you. It would be hard to understand, and at times it may even frighten you. My mind has taken me down dark roads better left untraveled. And even within the best of us, the sleep of reason produces monsters. Signed, with love, Goya a su nieto.
This one looks familiar. Child, name yourself. Mariano Goya. <laughs> we know you, boy. Grandson of the great Francisco de Goya, and a smear upon his legacy. A gambler, a drunkard, and a disappointment. Are you here to make amends or pick his bones dry? Shame the way he sees you. Everything but what you truly are. Yet, you should not have come here. This is Zaragoza, your grandfather's home woven into the paint, and it stands at the brink of collapse. The town portends the dusk, the coming of calamity. This is the artist's nightmare. <laughs> and ye of flesh and bone have no place amongst it. You speak of the holy men. They are the church's inquisition, the blessed bastion. They roam these darkened streets, purging that which does not belong. They suffer not the heretic. By fire and brimstone, they will make our city pure. Oh yes. We are all quite familiar with the great Francisco de Goya. Twas by his hand that we were painted. Pride of Spain and last of the old masters. Pity he couldn't change anything. Look at him, so marred in misery that he's brought these lands to ruin. <laughs> but then again, I can't imagine a wretch like you would care. It's not like you did before. is much easier said than done, but perhaps. Very well, child. If you wish to leave Zaragoza, then seek out the blind man on the edge of town. <laughs> yes, yes. Consort with a madman like him enough. And I'm sure you'll find your way out of town. One way or another. Run along now, boy, through the alley. Make haste. <laughs> I'm...
come, won't you sit with me? Twould be a shame to enjoy these stars alone. She was not always like this, you know. Please, do not blame Faragotha for the state she's in. She was once so warm, before this oppressive curse left her fraught with fear and darkness. You see, the hope has bled from her, and she must be reminded of her old days if she is to heal. Here, let me play you a song from her past. It'd do you more good to hear for yourself. Unfortunately, I know only fragments, and the rest is lost upon sheets scattered throughout the town. Though they bear the Lord's crosses and noble insignia, they have twisted his teachings to justify man's greed and hatred. Do well to avoid them. Ah, one of the many things these shadows have claimed. Struck with a violent illness, I awoke to find nothing but an endless void of black surrounding me. Tis at times hard to endure. You would truly offer me aid. Thank you. I believe the first sheet still roams around the town, evading all who seek it. It shan't be easy. And the Inquisition is sure to dog your every step. But know one thing for certain. If you bring me music, I can always play.
you've returned. And by that sound of rustling paper, it seems you were able to chase down the sheet. Yes, yes, I think I'm beginning to understand. But alas, it's just as I thought. I fear that this sheet alone is not quite enough, and I must ask you to retrieve a second. What little good news I can offer is that it should not be hard to find. The Inquisition has confiscated it. And as with all matters they deem heretical, it lies somewhere within their darkened cathedral. Of course, getting into the church district and past the many inquisitors who guard it will not be a trifling matter. Yet we may still be in luck, for I know a woman in town who may know a way to sneak you in. Her name is Judith, and she often frequents me in this courtyard. Good luck, my friend. Know that I appreciate all that you are doing for Zaragoza. Those masked fools have not known peace since you arrived, grandson of Goya. You seem surprised I know of you. Zaragoza might look like she's fallen. But like a desert viper, she's alert, waiting for a chance to strike. I assume you're here for a way into the church district. Hmm. A barrel wagon runs in and out of the district carrying supplies. That's your way into their domain. The melody you seek lies within a vault hidden beneath the cathedral, built to bury what those cowards cannot simply turn to ash. Once you're in the district, find the priest still true to God's cause. He'll give you the key to the graveyard, beyond which lies the vault. Yet beware, the path you take has stolen countless brave souls from Zaragoza. It gives from us all that gives us hope. Glowing meadows, laughter, dance, and old friends, happy memories from a time long gone. The Goya I knew are lost to this darkness. Even one of the old gods met his demise there, trapped within that vault. Oh, <laughs> your grandfather was a bit of a rogue back when I knew him. Even in the courts, he outwitted those with more riches than worth. Painting them as hideous buffoons while convincing them it was high art. Yet roguish as he was, he felt the pain and suffering of the common folk. He wished things to be better. It's a shame what his world has become. The alley to the left of the sewers, that's where you will find the card. For the sake of Zaragoza, I beseech Lady Luck to take your side this once.
<laughs> Tell me this is no dream. Faragotha, free at last. Oh, what I would give to see this moment. To have my eyes return for but a second. But alas, the sound of freedom will have to suffice. Very well. I believe this is where we part ways. There are few men who could ever hope to depict beauty in the way he could. Yet it is from those to whom God gives the most that he tests the most. His affliction was a tragedy, one to which I can too wholly relate. A painter robbed of his ears, and a musician robbed of his sight. What a pair we made. Good luck, and may our paths cross again. Son apart. Leave now before my temper once more gets the better of me. You seek to know what happened. Tis what always happens, child. I grew old and weak. My son hovered like a vulture. Waiting to pick my carcass clean. I knew I 
had no choice, that he would turn against me. The prophecy had sworn to me. I was so confident that it was all not true. Yet even now, I hear him beg me to stop. Tis this cave that broke me, this never-ending solitude, alone with my thoughts. I perhaps, in the end, trapped in a darkened villa. Your grandfather felt the same. This painted world was his heart. In times past, it was his hopes, his dreams. Now it festers with disgust at what his world had become. He saw the evils in his country and he painted them here. He felt the darkness in himself and painted me. Your grandfather is dying, Mariano. And soon these lands will fade along with him. He would have let this world stay buried, defiled by this curse. But you changed that. You found the light he lost. While he was off to play the fool, he was never blind to your many vices. Yet, as you know, he always believed walk tall, son of Goya, for I believe you have proved him right.